Hey everyone, Axton Ronder here. Welcome back to another episode of. Hold on, I gotta lower my headset. <laughs> uh, Fantasy Life. Where we last left off, we entered a new region. This is Port Puerto. 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 There we go. See, I think I pronounced it right. Now, <laughs> one of these days, I'm gonna have to go to Google Translate. <laughs> Anyways, so we're into this new region. As you can see, it's this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Ocean Bay view, and I'm loving it every so much because it's a great great new location compared to Riveria. I mean, Riveria is awesome, don't get me wrong. I love the whole fantasy wave, but like, I love this. The whole docks, the water, everything. It looks beautiful. I have, I, I always love, like, ocean-based cities. I don't like what's in the ocean, but I love what's going on so far. It's just, mmm, so beautiful. So, like a fresh breath there. So, we were doing the main story, and we're gonna continue what's going on before I continue my ramblings. Oh, look, a safe spot. I already did that. So, we don't have to worry about that for now. Uh, let's keep on going to where we need to go. So many people to talk to, but we'll, we'll save that right now because I want to. I want to like just get into these, to the meat and potatoes of the story. Oh my gosh! Oh, hello there, Luciano. Welcome to Port. That are you, Master Andy's friends? Oh yes, I am. I think I'm a friend. Oh look at these trees. Can I cop them down? Oh, <laughs> ribbon lace shoes. Ooh. How those look? I'm so excited. How spiffy! But we have a higher defense with our leather shoes. That's not bad. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, oh, this way. <laughs> I was like, wait, you're not the guy I'm supposed to be talking to? This place is... Oh, there you are. Okay. Hello, Andy. Lord Axton, huh? Lord Axton Butterfly, I didn't expect to see you so soon. Oh, is it now a bad time? We can come back later, Mr. Pescado? Okay, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I had to think about that for a moment. But if I please, my dad doesn't even go by Mr. Pica uh, Mr. Pescado. I'm Andy, and your timing is perfect. Oh, before I forget, I got something for you. A gift of what you did earlier. Luciano. Oh, that's okay, you don't need to. I thought that was Butterfly saying that. You don't need to yell at the other people for our sake. It looks like Andy's a big fish around here. You called her? Oh, it's the guy we just talked to. Luciano, these two, these are the two I was telling you about. I want you to pay my debt of grad to them in the traditional fashion of Port Preto royalty. I'm sorry if I pronounced that horribly. Certainly, sir, I shall put together a banquet for our guests. Have you decided on a theme? A, a banquet? Might I suggest a magical sea beneath the sea or perhaps the rolling big wave of eternity? Magical sea beneath the sea. Nice. Oh, the rolling big wave of eternity sounds cool. Wait, no, no, please stop. We don't need any type of celebration or banquet. We're just here to deliver a letter from the king of the castle. That's it. Just hear us out for a sec. King Eric sends here, sent us here to see you. Hmm, so everyone seems to think that this great danger is threatening all of Riveria. That's pretty much the gist of it, yeah. I thought there was something different about the Lunaris, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Yeah, there's a huge X on it now. No, that's not it. Anyway, I'd love to help you, but my decision isn't just up to me. We're not a monarch we're not a monarchy, you know, here. My sister is our governor. I think you should tell her everything you just told me. Where can you find your sister? Yeah, that's a good question. She's probably docked over by Eyepatch Harbor. She's always trying to get the approval of those pirates over there. My sister's totally different than I am. I mean, she's great, don't get me wrong. But she's strong willed and decisive. She likes to get stuff done, you know. One of those kind of people. Oh yeah, I know, those people. So can you tell us where the eye patch harbor is? Just follow the smell of pirates. Yeah, eh, just kidding. You, you'll get along great with those guys. Well, I mean, we we used to. Anyway, at least until my father stepped down as governor. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. Take your take my yeah, take your letter to my sister. She'll know what to do. Once you leave the palace, go south. Head up the marina and go west from there. You can miss it. Just be careful, though. You'll never know what a pirate might do. And if you can't throw a banquet, please feel free to take anything you need. I, I, oh, I'll take this. What do we got here? I think that's already ten times better than what I'm currently wearing. Is it? Novice dagger? Silver dagger? No! Silver dagger. Oh my god, I can't even equip it! My skill, it's lackluster. Oh, not that I noticed this. I barely noticed this. I haven't even put in any points. Oh, well, have I? I don't even know. No, I have not put in any single amount of points into my base. A bit, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll keep it like that. You know what? <laughs> when it's time for me to do it, I'll do it. But right now, I don't see the point. 
uh, putting points right now. Later down the line, I'm gonna already see it. It's like, Axon, you should have put in all those points into strength. You can hit like a mother truck. You're right, probably. <laughs> I think we're going to the same place we went to, if I remember correctly, because he said where the pirates are, and we did come across an area full of pirates. That was um, on the west side, I think. I hope. I'm not really too sure. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. At least my stamina is not going by down so fast. It's going at a different rate. Ah, hire me! That's one fetching pirate costume you got there, lassie. Plain dress up like a pirate doesn't make you one. You know what I... You know that, don't ya? Well, watch that tongue of yours if I were you. If anyone hears a pirate in clothes only, it's you. Shiver me timbers. What sort of seawater be drinking there, lassie? All you do, all any of you do, is argue with each other. You got into spats on land, not at sea. You haven't even seen the sea in years. You're like turtles turned into aging, decrepit tortoises. Ah, now you just didn't call me a tortoise, did you, lassie? Such an insult has others walking a plank. Me mates, uh, get over there on the double. This Mrs. B asking for trouble, so let her be taken it down. None personal, lassie. She'll be hurting just a tiny bit when you see a tooth doctor. Nothing too bad. Oh. And stop talking those ridiculous accents. You all grown up in port. <laughs> that place. Um, hello. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Tortoise. My name is Pirate. Pirate Johnson. Pirate Johnson. Pirate Johnson. Didn't we come here across in Tide Tasmanian Tiger? I ain't never been insulted by butterfly before. It kind of feels nice. But y'all still be needing to learn a lesson. Get ready for a harsh lesson. Be learning some etiquette here. Olivia, join your party. Oh, okay, we're gonna get into a fight. Well, is it something I said? What should we do? Well, we're gonna fight. Okay, do your best. I'll be behind you. Just, I'll just stay here, but behind you. Thank you, butterfly. I'm all, I'm always. Ow. Okay, so I think. Remember when I said that we we need points into uh, something? I think that's gonna be strength soon because we're doing crap for damage. No, 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 no. Menu, menu. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can fix this. I can fix this. I can fix this. But then ten improves carbon sword attacks, minus skills, vitality, blacksmith defense. But then ten. 100 points will be rocking. I present. I still dagger sewing. Pretty great. Ha ha! Oh, you guys are in trouble now. Actually, we're gonna pull one more in strength. Because we have one more point. <laughs> now everybody's like, I told you! I told you to put your points into something! Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're right. I'm sorry. Uh, heal you. Heal me. No, heal me. Oh, great. It's not really doing nothing. I gotta have something in this inventory bag of mine. I'm just gonna start eating these like there's no tomorrow. 45, 55, 65. This. Oh, now you're in trouble. Feel my wrath. <laughs> Wrong button. Okay, that's. You, you fight him. Look out! We're doing so much damage now. Yeah, we're doing crap for damage. <laughs> oh my gosh! Ow! Uh oh. Okay. Oh my gosh! How come I can't do that? Well, I can tell you this, my attacks are crap compared to Olivia's. Ow! Uh oh Put your weapon away, put your weapon away! Jeez! And that's because I raised my, my attack to a, a thousand! Let's <laughs> drink one of these. I'm pretty sure that would have done like 100 HP. I I'm missing something here, or like spend out 10 hours in Rivera. Thank you for the achievement! Ow. Oh no you don't. Nice! You're just pitiful bunch. Can't even take on a couple of landlubbers too busy uh, belly aching on an empty stomach, eh? Ain't that- is that it? We're just honestly, your attempt at some sort of sea dog dialect is cringeworthy. Please stop. Perhaps it's best we leave, Lady Olivia. It's been quite a while since we pushed out to sea. But I won't be changing me accent. Me and my mates will be talking like this anyway. I think it would crush them to have to go back to proper speech. That's fine, Brutus. Just go. That's amazing. Simply. You okay? Surely you're joking. Those buffoons are a kind of running joke in town. They wouldn't hurt a... They couldn't hurt a fly, but hurting a butterfly? Well, that might be extent of their abilities. Unfortunately, really. 
Brutus used to be considered a master of the sea. Something has changed in him lately, however. He doesn't just he just doesn't seem to be the have the heart for it. Even now, pretending he has he was going to fight me, at some point his charade became quite pathetic. Yeah, <laughs> pathetic. Please pay no mind. Thank you for your attempt to intervene, however. That was rather adorable. Adorable. Can you believe that? My attacks were pitiful. Farewell. Oh, if anyone asks, tell him that Brutus got at least one good swipe on, in on uh, Lady Olivia. He has a reputation to protect the town. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't have interfered. She still seems kind of thankful in the end, though. Anyway, so where do you think we can find Andy's... Wait, 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 Lady Olivia? That was Andy's sister, the governor. We need to get give her Eric, King Eric's letter. Ah, <laughs> come on, we gotta follow her. Well... Maybe we should not have been interviewed. Maybe that's why my attacks were uh, straight up dog poop. Let me see my weapon damage by any chance. I'm using the right weapon. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Of course. Of course. My attack is ass. <laughs> Oh, maybe I should switch to the Claymore. Ooh, look at the chest here. Before you sits an enormous treasure chest. It looks like it locked up tight. How mysterious. Olivia might get mad if you mess with it. Oh, well, maybe next time. Maybe next time indeed. What about this? Oh, I can't look at that. A pirate's life. It looks like Olivia's journal. She might walk in your... She might, she might make you walk the planet if you read it. Now, there's a timber shivering thought. Yes, timber. Look at this place, I really like this. What's this? Oh, okay, same thing. I need to speak with you. Huh? What are you doing here? Explain yourselves. I'm sorry to intrude, but you're Andy's sister, Olivia, right? I am indeed Lady Olivia, Governor of Port Pureto. Yes, of course, Lady Olivia, I meant no disrespect. We have a letter from you from King Eric of Castel. Hand it over to King Eric, letter. So the little king would like my help, huh? I forgot that some lands still use that antiquated monarchy system. I suppose you're accident then. I did hear about you. Thank you for helping my younger brother. He has a tendency to get in over his head. He is so much, very much hurt like our mother in that manner. Excuse me. You don't take after your mother? I've always modeled myself after my father. Both Andy and I were born into a noble house. But nobility never seemed to suit me. I suppose that sounds ridiculous, but I seek pity from no man. No bird butterfly. No butterfly. Now this tale of Varia being in danger, I remember reading such a thing in a storybook years ago. How can this be true? We're not certain, we're still trying to figure it out, but it seems the goddess treasures are the key. Blast, we must find that treasure. Well, you certainly seem to have the temperament of pirate, Lady Olivia. I knew something was wrong, whispers from the sea, my blood singing a pirate's dirge. My father once ruled the high seas, he was known as the Buccaneer King far and wide. But one day he fell in love with a kind-hearted princess to he met on Tortuga Archipelago. And that fruit of that forbidden love between a wild buccaneer and a noble woman was you and Andy? I'll tell you that story if it's all the same. The marriage went through despite a flurry of objections. It was a stormy affair. However, the people of Port Puerto eventually embraced the union between pirates and nobility. The angelic smile of a newborn baby seemed to change their entire world in an instant. And do you know who that baby was, Butterfly? Was it Andy? No, it was me. The newborn baby with the angelic smile was me. Nobody listens to me. <laughs> I like the power of the forbidden romance and the story objections. That means you're actually half pirate and half princess. You should call yourself the Harness. I'm so sick of that joke. Please stop. Anyway, whenever I asked my mother about her homeland, she would just tell me about a secret treasure. Really? What was it? She was always very clear about the fact she didn't want me to ever become a pirate. The music just stopped abruptly, and she didn't want Andy to play in sports. I can still hear her voice. Wait, what's what's wrong with the sports? Roy? Royal blood courses through your veins. I forbid you to become a pirate. I absolutely forbid it. Andy, put that corsair down. <laughs> Olivia, I do not mean to be cruel, so I'll tell you this. It is said that under the great light of Linares, on the Tortuga Archipelago, a, legend tre a legendary treasure awaits the great pirate of destiny. Andy, take that helmet off of your mouth this instant. <laughs> I suppose... <laughs> I suppose if it were for you, you found this treasure, I would have to bless your wish to be a pirate. What's with the sports? Why did she want to play sports? It made it my mission to find the treasure. I wonder if it's a legendary treasure hidden on the uh, Tortuga Archipelago. It's one of those items Eric seeks. It's possible. 
the archipelago is currently blocked off because of one of those falling, oh, what you called? Moonstones. Doomstones. No, that's not it. Regardless, one of those stones crashed near the archipelago. So there's falling here too? I can get to the blockade removed. Why don't you come with me? Do you think that's okay? Consider it a favor in return for helping me earlier. Or at least trying to help me. I also throw you a three-day banquet of style of Ord Port Port Nobility. We'll call it a Tidal Banquet. No, 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 thanks. But we're fine, really. We don't need a three-day anything. You're right. Three days hardly scratches the surface of gratitude. We shall do the seven-day feast. No, really. If we could just get along with with you to torture, that'd be all the things we need. Only now for the fortnight extravaganza, huh? But we'll see about that. The adventures may be a chance for both of us to prove ourselves. What do you mean? Let's discuss that later. We must be off. We shall meet on the outskirts of town presently. What life am I rocking at the moment? Um, what's my current life? You can check that, right? I know you can check that somewhere. I'm a blacksmith. Oh, goody. I think that's the reason why my attacks are... No. Vitality plus two plus health. Oh, Rowden, mercenary. I should have just stuck with a freaking woodcutter. At least I know with a woodcutter, I'll be able to do some crazy damage. I don't think I can be able to change that anytime soon. Oh, well. Let's keep on going. Where are we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I lost myself for a moment. Can I change my life here by any chance? I don't even think I can. I don't even know if I... Do they have a life place here? Let's just take a look real quick. Maybe maybe I can. Uh, what is this? What is this? Oh, this is something we cannot do yet. Ooh. Sounds exciting, though. It looks exciting. I, I, I'm i I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I'm excited to see what are, like the different little areas we'll be able to go to. I know I do remember a couple of them, but not all of them. Oh. By any chance, can I change a life? Oh, I love how this looks. What can I do for you? Change your life. Yes, 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 I can. Cool. Um, tried and true woodcutter. Tried and true woodcutter. Keep it up. Yes. Okay, cool. The only reason why I didn't change it to um, the the paladin life was simple. Um, woodcutter gives me more strength. That is probably because it's my strongest life. I still need to work on those little challenges. We got we got to make an episode of that eventually. Like, I'd be there like, accidents, adventures of becoming the master of everything. Yes, I can see it now. 400 episodes from now, we'll be done with Fantasy Life, and I'll be continuing my next Let's Play of something else. I don't know. I was going to say it by accident. I almost let it slip. God, I really hope. <laughs> I was like, I was, I was like... 400 episodes. That might actually be a thing. I don't see Lady Olivia. Maybe she was talking about somewhere else? She just said outskirts, right? Kind of vague. Hey, you hear that laughing? Isn't that Ahab? He seems to be having a good old time over there. Oh. Let's go see what's up. I can kind of piece this together. Do you all see what's going on? Because I do. And if you do, let me know, because I, I'm kind of thinking it. <laughs> oh, I knew we'd meet again, my little friends. How does a sea roar for you? It roars good, or, well, I guess. You're talking grammar, eh? Are you trying to embarrass all way I have here with, an open, with overwhelming him with talking rules? What? No, of course not. I was just trying, I was just noting something for myself. I just, not talking about any more, about, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not talking about this anymore. It would make me feel both well and good. Well, we're agreed on we're agreed there. Care to join me? I was just talking to my dear late wife regarding my daughter. Probably looks like I was talking to myself, huh? Hardy, har, har, har. Well, I'm sorry we interrupted you. We didn't know. Ah, bless your apologies. Don't you worry. Your, your little head is sparkly butterfly, Lassie. In fact, you might be able to help me out. See, my daughter be hot-blooded, competitive, Lassie. She's still my little girl, see? Even though we're all, she's all grown up now. <sighs> Don't ever become a parent, little butterfly. The little ones will break your heart without you even knowing it. What, what, what do you mean? Even if my father says something his daughter doesn't want to hear, it's important she listen. Parents always need to be active in their child's lives, even if she acts like she's not listening. She is. Well, it seems like you have a bit of passion on the subject, huh, little flappy lassie? 
Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just your daughter's lucky to have a father giving her guidance, that's all. We don't have a wise little one here. Well, we don't have a... Uh, I can't speak tonight. I love it, har har har. Maybe we'll get a career in family therapy, butterfly. What is he to be doing around here, anyway? Well, we're, we're supposed to meet someone here, but I don't see her. <laughs> she stood you up. That's a tough one. I hope not. She promised she was going to help us search for a legendary pirate treasure. Ah, the days of searching for booty. How I miss it. <laughs> My treasure hunting nowadays ain't the same as it used to be. The sea is angry these days. The land is scared. The most important thing about adventure is getting your, you and your marks, your mates back safe. Remember that and be sure to spread the word to your treasure hunting friends. If there's ever show up, har har. Since you don't have much t uh, to say, let me offer you a bit of advice. When you're searching for treasures, rough waters are the norm. Here's a hint to make things easier. Wait, how do you know so much about treasure hunting if you're just a fisherman? I wasn't always on the legal side of the sea, little one. Ha ha ha. Oh, is that so? I know the treasure you be singing. The legend says all you need to do is look up. Lunaris marks the spot. Oh, wait a second. How do you know what you're looking for? You don't have much to do but pass the time with you. Talk here and pour. World travels around, little butterfly. So this has, does have something to do with Lunaris. Get more than something to do with it. If Lunaris taking a shine to you, it'll show you the treasure. The last to hear you're waiting for be a smart one. I don't know. I don't think you should have any problem finding it. I've already been saying too much here. I'm off. Don't be eating the fruit I left behind for my dear wife. No drinking the juice either. It is tasty though. Huh. There's juice? Did you drink it? I don't see a cup. Ahab's eyes really lit up when we started talking about treasure. Did you notice that? Though I wonder what he means by Lunaris marks the spot. I'm here, please pardon my tardiness. My crossbones were crooked. Your what? Oh. Oh great, we weren't sure if you were he we were in the right spot or place. I think we were interrupted a friend of our and we interrupted a friend of ours here. I felt kinda bad about it. Ah uh, yes, this spot is rather special. A few of our more sentimental citizens pay their respects here. We still yet to locate the most recent doomstone, but I've heard the blockade is remote. Let's go to Tortuga immediately. Olivia joined your party. Can I say these are the most interesting looking chickens I've seen? I I mean, they look like chickens. They act like chickens. I, I think I could hear them balk like chickens. Look at those. Such elegance. Such amazing. That's awesome. <laughs> the chicken! Where am I going from here? Oh! Ooh, what is this? You don't mind if I take some of this, would you? Just a little bit. Come on, find a sweet spot. Ah, darn it. Oh, nice. What do we got? Ooh, excavated complete. Portal of silver. I should really learn how to pronounce that. <laughs> I know there was trees here. Somewhere. Don't make me a damn liar. I know there's... Oh, sorry. There's a tree somewhere around here I can cut. Ooh. Sunny Pluffs. I think we need some of these. Hmm. Oh! I know there was a tree here somewhere. You don't mind if I cut one of these down, do you? I desperately need... There it is. Here we go. Here's the big one. Nice. I was going to say, like, I know there's an achievement for that. Anything else I could take off the land here that I can use? Ooh, look at that. Ooh, fisherman. Uh, can we not fish? Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. No, 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 no. He's fighting. He's fighting for his life. Oh, shoot. He's really fighting. He's really fighting. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, this fish is actually healing faster than I can reel him in. But maybe if I can just try... <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to reel it in. No, I don't think I'll be able to reel it. Damn it. Oh, I'm sorry, we <laughs> stuck there. <laughs> I need to get a better fishing tool. I need to get tools, better tools in general. So, uh, one thing on my checklist. Tor Tortuga Archipelago. Ooh. 
Ja, att det ska chocka ner oss. Tortuga, Archipel... Ja, oh, han. Archipelago. <laughs> It's one of the many jewels of poor poet. Po- you know, my mother often talked about the scenario... Uh, since, uh, since, uh, she- can't read tonight. She felt when standing on the beaches here. She said that although she would pass on, the sea would rather would remain the same. And it did. And so did. Lady Olivia. This is no time for modeling indulgence indulgenceness. I apologize. The most important thing is finding this item to see if it is indeed one of the goddess's treasures. The most important thing about venturing is getting you and your march back safe. Where have I heard that before? Oh, I don't know. I just heard it from a fisherman we just met earlier. A fisherman? Are you certain? Well, I mean, I guess technically I never saw him catch any fish, but he said he was a fisherman. I guess he could have been carrying around a rod as a prop. Strange, you're saying that somehow some, that somehow made me remember something else, my mother said. Oh yeah, what was that? Beware the seven heads. The what? I'm sorry, what? Beware the seven heads. Why did that suddenly pop into my head? That's weird. Do you know what it means? I haven't had the faintest idea. But I have a feeling we're going to find out soon. Yeah, I'm, I, don't, I don't know what the heck that means. That's because I play the living daylights out of this game. Well, almost. <laughs> okay. Best part about this place is that you're going to be seeing a lot of interesting uh, enemies here, but these guys are actually not, uh, like, enemies. Excuse me. They're more calm, and they won't really do anything. Now, there are some enemies that actually will, aw, try to do something, but for now, uh, we can just avoid those guys. Oh, you can see there's one in the top right. Look at that ugly little fish. Oh, he's actually getting closer. Ooh, port shuts. Port cuts. Port cuts, nice. Put your weapon away. I always get confused when I'm pressing those buttons. Let's see, come on, magic spot, there it is. See. Uh yes. Oh, nice, level 10. Reach level 10. Oh. Oh, scary fish. Look at that, look at the size of those teeth, oh. Please, Mr. Turtle, don't get in my way. Please don't get in my way, I do not want to fight you. Uh oh. Oh, he has some EXP and... Give me that. Oh, wait. I'm not hitting. I'm like, what, what's going on? I know what I'm defeated. Let's go. Uh, those damn fishes. They made me hit that per that poor turtle. And look at those... Look at that silver piece. Uh, hold on. I want to go back because there was a lot of that silver. So I'm just going to mine this real quick. You know. Oh, there's a sweet spot. You know, just real quick. That's really quick. Wow, that was actually really fast. Put your weapon away. Put your weapon away. Thank you. Oi. Oh, sweet spot. Sweet spot. Sweet spot. Nice. Minty ore. And after mining mint. Complete. Nice. Looks like we got a lot of stuff to turn into eventually. Um, actually, you know, now that we're here... Uh, I want to check something. We have yet to look at any of the quests that we have here. What What was that? Elder and Wiser. What do we got here? Cut three Elder Oak Logs from around Castell or in the Elderwood. Okay. We're almost done with that one. We can turn that one. We can turn in that one. We're almost done with that one. It's like fine pine. Okay, we're done with that one. Elder logs when you do that one. Pine salt. Cut down a pine on Mount Snow Peak and then cash. As a woodcutter, count down a great mine. Oh, we didn't do that. Interesting. 50 trees. Port cuts. Okay. Wait, what are these? Gotta be careful because some. Well, not be careful, but I know some of these could be like. Um, what's the word? Uh, like adept. And they're not bad. It just gives you more points. There, I don't know if I explained this, but uh, when you're when you're doing what what what? Oh, you're still mad. Uh, when you're doing like certain little quests here and there, you can actually start. Um, if you know which ones to do, you can actually get uh, like adept. Uh, you know, adept rankings. 
like for instance um if i were to go to a new region and i chop down a tree and i'm like uh for wood cutting if i'm if i cut down the tree and i'm like oh i cut it down i can get i can still get that that's a big fresh uh i can get the uh, reward for it and it will like really help me out a lot so keep that in mind when you're like doing a lot of uh, moving around i guess we'll find the big fish my gosh with even with all this armor uh you still get a lot of rewards like for all I know, when I got the the uh, what is it with the the points for the um, <laughs> the trees, like I don't know if they're adept or if they're um, expert levels. I think that's what it is. It's one of my currently an apprentice. I don't know if they're apprentice or uh, adept levels. So it's good to keep an eye on that. And uh, if you can if you can find uh, like trees that you're not familiar with or like stuff you're not familiar with try breaking it because you, you never know and for now we're just gonna walk away from these guys because it's actually a little bit underpowered here underleveled jeez i'm getting my butt handed to me did not want him to look at me <laughs> you ugly ugly little fish i know we're gonna need these guys for something like i don't know if it's a quest or if it's an item they drop but i i don't remember off the top of my head Oh my god, I lost my I lost my train of thought there. I was like, oh my gosh, look at that awesome attack power. Alright. One, two, three. Oh, they're perfect. And one for good luck. Give me the items. See? Now we completed something else. <laughs> really good to... Oh, before we continue that, I think we're going to stop with this episode because uh, we're already hitting 30 minutes. <laughs> and I don't want to overdo on these episodes. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time exploring the land of uh, the port. <laughs> oh, like uh, Appalachia. Or Appalachia. The archipelago. We're here in the archipelago. So the next time, we're going to continue on with the quest and see what's going on with the legendary treasure. Hopefully we can find something soon. And uh, hopefully we can actually get more of the rewards. I would like to turn in all this stuff eventually with like the masters and stuff like that. So we can act we can actually like start ranking up our stuff. Look, there's a doomstone over there. So anyways, if you guys like this video, please give it a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. There's bound to be some stuff on this channel that will pique your interest eventually. Alright, so I hope you guys have a great one. And I'll catch you all later. Please stay safe. Bye-bye.